I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel, La Bricoleuse, where I share techniques and tricks I've learned from over 25 years working as a costume craftsperson. This video is a project vlog documenting how I made a chic contemporary hat from a 1940s hat block and a twisted seagrass hat body. In it, I presume that you have a basic understanding of the hat blocking process. If not, you'll get the general idea while watching it. And if you want to learn more, I have a whole playlist of videos about how to block hats in both felt and straw. Here's that hat block held up to a mannequin head to give me an idea of what the finished hat might look like. And here's what the underside looks like, which I have to admit, I wasn't sure I could get a hat off of this block after making it with such an undercut around the perimeter. Here's the block on my work table. In the foreground is the vintage hat body I'll use, made of black seagrass with a silver Lurex thread twisted in. I dampen the hat body by spraying it with water inside and out before shaping it onto the block. I'll speed up the video now during the blocking process, but you can see that I'm using both elastic bands and nylon cords with drafting pins to secure the seagrass straw into the crevices and ridges of this complex shape. I respray the straw with water as it begins to dry out. The open weave of this mesh hat body makes it much more malleable than a tighter weave of straw. Even though this started out as a flare body, as opposed to the more narrow thimble shape of a hood, I'm able to pull it smoothly around the bottom lip of the block. Total actual time for blocking this shape with this material was only 12 minutes. Next, I applied two coats of Lico brand hat stiffener. Once that dries, again, because of the open weave, I'm able to remove the hat from the block with ease despite the undercut. I trim away the excess seagrass and stay stitch the cut edge by machine. Then swirl a black grosgrain sweatband, pin it in, and stitch it into place by hand. Now it's time to decide on the decoration. My first idea was a couple of these black stripped feather quills. I let this trim configuration sit on the work table for a few days, then decided to try a second idea weaving a single quill in and out through the pinched ridges on the front right side of the shape. Finally, I settled on three silver rings, evoking helix piercings on the rim of the ear. Sadly, I finished this hat just as straw hat season was ending in the fall of 2021, so I look forward to wearing it in the spring of 2022. My deepest gratitude to my friend and fellow milliner, Kim Fraser of Hatnip Hats, who loaned me this stylish antique block. Check out her fabulous original hat designs at her Etsy shop, linked in the description to this video. This is not a paid promotion. 